Vacations are awesome and creating lasting memories is important. Today, we'll be talking about how vacations work when you're a daily independent adjuster. As insurance adjusters, we need to be covered by insurance. We're writing estimates, climbing ladders, walking on roofs, and mistakes can happen. What are you going to do when something goes wrong? Kaplik it. CPLIC, or Kaplik for short, is an insurance company for independent adjusters, formed by independent adjusters. They understand our job and the potential problems that can arise. If you want help understanding what coverages you need as an independent adjuster, head over to cplic.net slash adjuster TV for a free download that will explain the common types of insurance for adjusters. Hey IAs, it's Chris Stanley of IAPath. You know how most new adjusters cannot break into the industry? They struggle because companies have two to five years worth of experience as a requirement. And how can they get that experience? But don't worry, at IPATH, we get that experience waived with our 90-day online mentorship program. If you're interested, head over to IPATH.com. Now you've worked hard to build up your business and earn the trust of your companies. But now you're tired and you want to take a break, but you're worried you won't have any work when you come back. What if everyone quits working with you because you took a break? This is a fear many daily independent adjusters and auto damage appraisers face. For years, I never took a vacation. Only three day weekends or a day off here or there. I believe now in retrospect, and now that I know much more about the industry, that this was a mistake. Not only because I think I could have taken a vacation, but because I robbed my wife, kids, and myself of a much needed break. So let's talk about how to take a vacation, shall we? First off, I recommend you do it during a slower part of the year. Typically, daily claims are slowest, January to March. Claims in general are so slow January and February, it's likely you won't be missed too much for a week during that time. Once you determine when you plan to take a vacation, contact the IA firms you work with at least one month in advance and inform them of how you plan to turn yourself off during those weeks due to your vacation. It is possible that they tell you just to keep yourself on and to schedule the claims when you come back. Don't do this. Because if the claims are sitting in your queue for a week, your cycle time will become bloated and you'll suffer for a long time trying to bring that cycle time back up. If they want you to handle the claims when you come back, they'll assign them to you when you return. I wouldn't risk the almighty powerful cycle time metric. Also, you don't want to feel like you should be working during the week when you're trying to take a vacation. Your phone's going to be making obnoxious notification noises. And unless you're smarter than me and you have a work phone separate from your personal phone, uh, if you do, just leave the work phone at home or turn it off. But you don't want to be bothered on your vacation. Are you looking for an IA firm where you're not just another number? Let me tell you about our sponsor, CCMS and Associates. CCMS has been called a big mom and pop firm because they care about their adjusters. They also care about results. The CCMS family is dedicated to training and developing a talented adjusting team. If you would like to be a part of their family, email your resume and cover letter and introduce yourself directly to careers at ccmsclaims.com. Once you've scheduled your time off and turned yourself off for the companies you service, make sure you remind them two days prior to the start of your vacation or the last weekday beforehand, just in case they forgot. I recommend doing this via email and phone so there's a record of you informing them in your inbox. You never can be too careful. Some companies have an online portal when you can turn yourself off. Well, that's great. I'd still communicate with the dispatchers and let them know you plan to leave town. It's a courtesy to those you work with consistently to not surprise them. 
Now you may be wondering, what if they start using somebody else while I'm gone? This is totally possible, <laughs> but here's the reality. If you have a good relationship with the company you work with, if you provide excellent customer service, if you're a top communicator and are good at statusing, these companies don't want to lose you. They may use a backup adjuster in the area while you're gone. But if your relationship is good, you should be welcomed back with open arms and they should be excited that you're back and able to service their clients. But a word of caution, if you dip out for one week at a time frequently like this, it'll hurt your ability to continue to get daily claims. If a company doesn't feel like they can rely on you, they won't rely on you. And there goes your good relationship and income. A week or two during the slow season and you've got nothing to worry about. I've even heard of some IAs turning off for all of February because it's so slow. Just remember, if at all possible, be strategic with where you place your vacation. Also, don't be afraid to take unscheduled time off. Need Tuesday off? Schedule all your claims for Wednesday. Need a three or a four day weekend? Go for it. The beauty of being an independent adjuster and appraiser is that if we balance our work schedule properly, have good cycle time and good communication with our statusing, we can take time off frequently when we need to. It is our business after all. I'll end with this though. Although work is important and missing opportunities are never good, missing a family member's wedding, child's birthday, or an important memory is worse. If you have something you need to be a part of or want to be a part of, be willing to sacrifice the opportunities and work. After all, why did you become an independent adjuster except that you wanted the good pay and freedom to live your life? Don't get caught up in the hamster wheel and miss life. It isn't worth it, no matter how much money you could have earned. So keep walking your path and claiming your life. If you enjoyed this video, you'll love writing along with us on Adjuster TV Plus. Myself and a growing list of industry experts will show you how to handle claims with confidence. We know it's hard to find a working adjuster who's going to let you shadow them, which is why we let you write along with us on Adjuster TV Plus. Check it out for seven days absolutely free at iPath.com slash TV. IPath is get off the couch, quit watching the Weather Channel, wishing you were gonna get work, and get out and experience the world because you're a working adjuster type of training. Head over to iPath.com to find out more. iPath, claim your life.